Good morning, everybody. It is 808, November 19th. I made it to uh, Michigan here. We got a little light snow going on. Um, I wanted to share something with you guys and uh, know this is very important, you guys. Let's stay focused on Jesus Christ. Don't let anybody pull you away from him. Um, I was just talking with Robert um, in the UK and we were on that app thing where we could talk like through the internet or something. I don't know how it works, but we talked for quite a while and uh, he was telling me a dream that he had about even Trump, you know, something to do about an elephant. And I said, you know, he just legalized hunting elephants, you know, like he could hunt them for their tusk now. And, uh, and, uh, but he said he had a dream, something about saying goodbye, and he's seen the Statue of Liberty with the snake around it. Um, then we've seen that, what's her name, that Wendy Williams pass out, dressed up like the Statue of Liberty. You know, it's all getting ready to come down, you know. Um, but being very careful, you guys, because there's a lot of stuff out there on the internet that's pulling people away from strengthening their body of Christ. Okay, that's what we are called to do, to strengthen the body of Christ. Be getting into Christ. There's a lot of stuff that people will say, hey, look at what they're doing now. They're doing this. They're doing that. They're doing this. You know, listen, they're going to do a lot of stuff. Doesn't matter. God's going to destroy it all. What, what needs to be done is we need to know the Holy Spirit that's within us, okay? We need we can see clearly with our own eyes um, the perversion that's been legalized here, the uh, idolatry, the everybody that can't see. I mean, you know, just from witnessing, I I witness people daily all the time. I'm gonna get a nap here in a little bit as soon as I get finished with this video. Um, we witness all, all this stuff all the time. But what's most important is, you guys, staying close to Christ. Don't have a fear of what they're doing around you. You know, all these microwaves are slapping up everywhere. It's going to be used against the people that are left behind. You know, I mean, I don't fear this life, my life here. I want out of this place. I'm tired of this place. Um, I had to wear that when I was on the phone call with Robert. Um, I'm de I'm tired of this place. I'm ready to get out of here. Um, yeah, his phone died out. The battery on his phone died out. And that's why it ended our conversation. But anyhow, um, we know, you know, Robert was even mentioning how, you know, he sees people that got large channels out there and they got a few thumbs down on it, you know, a few. How I don't even have half of the people that a lot of these bigger channels have, but I got a lot of thumbs down where people really hate this channel. And a lot of people making videos that hate me too. And he said it, it makes them feel like, you know, they're targeting me more than a lot of them because that's the way they are. You know, that's what they're going to be drawn. You know, like we're drawn to Christ. They're drawn to uh, come against Christ. You know, the truth. And let me tell you something, you guys. And I ain't saying this boastfully. But when you when you let these things go, you're going to be more aware in the body of Christ. You're going to be more aware of the evil that's in this world. Um, I didn't have a hard time letting this stuff go. I'm going to tell you, you guys. Because when the Lord opened my eyes to see what I seen, um, I didn't want nothing to do with this anymore. I was like, it, I could see it was all wicked, very wicked. And then, you know, for my football coach, you know, I hadn't seen him in 40 years. Yeah, I knew he played professional football when he was younger for Chicago Bears. But, uh, you know, like I said, when he was offering me that the worldly job, okay, 60 grand, I instantly looked at him and said the games are over without even considering to take the job, you know, and I was bathing out of a small sink living in my shop, okay, I knew I didn't want anything to do with, with this world anymore, 
You know, it's it's wicked here, you guys. Be separate from it, okay? Be separate from it. Trust and follow in Christ. Be careful what you're watching out there. Man, watch these old movies. Moses. Um, uh, Cynthia just told me she just got to watching uh, about Daniel, that movie Daniel. I've watched these movies over and over a lot. I'd rather watch them over and over than to see what Trump's doing. I don't care what Trump's doing. I got faith in my Lord, Christ. You know, and I share with you guys on here. I would start a live video right now, but I got to get some sleep right now, you know. But I just wanted to do a short video and upload this. Um, this is finished, you guys. It's finished. So, let's stay strong in the Lord, okay? Listen to this. Second Timothy. I'm going to read just a small part. Normally, I don't do this, but I, I, this is a... Some encouragement, you guys. Stay close to the Lord. That's all you have to do. Comfort and edify one another in the Lord. You know, in the word of God. Don't worry about what these people are doing out here, man. They're going to do what they're going to do, you know. It don't matter. At this, It really don't matter what they do. This is all going to be destroyed anyhow. Only thing that matters is to know that you were chosen. You got the Spirit, the Holy Spirit dwelling in you. And you're getting ready to leave. We're getting ready to leave here, you guys. That's all that matters. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love, and of a sound mind. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner. But be thou partakers of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of God. You know, be a partaker of it, of the afflictions. You know, jump in. The water is fine. <laughs> ah, you guys, it, it is. I'd rather be on this end of it because we're getting ready to go home. This ain't our home. You know, the world loves those that are of the world, but they hate us. You know, so like it says right here, okay? For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but the power and of but of power and of love and of a sound mind. In other words, don't be going here, don't go to all these different places, you know. Going here, going there, all these things that you're hearing about. It's crazy. You know? This is everything we need is right here. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me his prisoner. But be thou partakers of the afflictions. Okay, you guys always see me wearing these affliction shirts. Okay, get you an affliction shirt. Be a partaker of it. You'll like it a lot better. I promise you will. Plus, it'll open your eyes to the wickedness that's in this world. Okay, we're getting ready to go home. Okay. And then I want to go over here to Second Timothy 3. This know also that the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of men. Okay? Men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. Remember, Christ said he didn't come here to bring peace on earth. And he said this isn't his kingdom, is it here? This place is temporary temporary you know he said set your affections and things on on what's eternal okay all right uh they're unthankful and unholy without natural affection truth breakers false accusers i mean i got all kinds of stuff coming against me you guys you know even i told you when i got uh in trouble for that vehicle battery while under the influence of alcohol Man, they lied about everything on, when I went to court. There was a lady, Rose Gray, that was that witnessed the whole thing that knew my mother. And she told my mother, she goes, none of this stuff is the truth. She goes, it's a lie. I was, she was there. She'd seen it. Actually, she went there and got my mother before the police even, you know. She got my mother right away and told her where my car was, everything. You know, so my mom, that's one thing I was grateful for. And the Lord is the creator of everything. You know, that woman was there for a reason, you know, to witness the truth. 
And uh, even in the court session, Rose said she would never trust another jury trial after what she witnessed um, with what happened with me. You know, but I also believe that was just the devil just coming against me, trying to really make my life hard. You guys wouldn't believe the things I've seen even when I was in prison. You know, the the demonic stuff. You know, the one a lady guard rubbing herself on the counselor's head. You know, things of the devil, and then looking at me smiling while they were doing it. You know, and uh, it was crazy, you guys. I was like, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. You know, but now knowing what I know now, I understand perfectly well what it was. It was the spirits. It wasn't the people. It was the spirits that was hosting them. Okay, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such turn away, okay, so stay focused on Christ, okay, and, you know, be in the afflictions, be a part of it, you know, all you got, you know, just be a part of it, it's better to be a part of the afflictions, be partakers, like it says, the word of God. Okay, share with one another. We don't have to worry about what the devil and these demons are doing out here because we know it's going to come to an end here real soon. God's in control, not them. Remember that, okay? For of this uh, sort are they which creep into houses and lead captives, silly women laden with sins. See, they're going to try to lead you away with divers' lust. You know, lead you away from this, from Christ. Stay focused on Christ, not on what's going on in this world. Don't worry about it. This is all over. I can care less what Trump does, really. I can care less what Putin does. I can care less what the Pope does. I already know what's going to happen. The Word of God tells me, you know. There's a lot. There's You can get more truth out of this than you can watching all of that. I promise you, man. Stay focused on Christ. Okay, because this is where they're going to get the truth. You're not going to get it out there in this world. You know, too many lies and deceptions. Forever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of truth. Now as Janus and Jambres withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith. But they shall proceed no further. For their folly shall be manifested unto all men, as theirs also was. But thou hast fully known my doctrines, manner of life, purpose, faith, long-suffering, charity, patience, persecutions, afflictions, which came to me at Antioch in Iconium and Lustria, what persecutions I endured. But out of them all, the Lord delivered me. Yeah, all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. You know, it says it plainly, you will suffer persecution. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and even being deceived. Yeah, evil begets evil, okay? That's why I tried to also warn these homosexuals. Because what's going to end up happening to them after the rapture happens when we're gone? And I don't, I'm, I'm prophesizing, I'm telling you what's going to happen. That spirit that's in you now that you think you feel the way you feel, it's going to flee from you and you're going to realize you were deceived. But it's going to be too late. And you're going to have people hunting you down, wanting to kill you because of your, the lifestyle that you're living, you know. The people you think are for it are okay with it now are going to come against you. Not to mention the other religions and stuff. You know, it's going to be horrible for you. But I, I believe you can still be a martyr for Christ. You know, there's still going to be hope if you can overcome it. You know, it's going to be difficult. See, I don't say what I say to be hateful towards you. I do know there's going to be like the five foolish. There'll still be hope. Uh, all right 
But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of knowing, of whom thou hast learned them, and that from a child that thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation, through faith which is in Christ Jesus. You know? All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly finished into all good works. I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Christ Jesus, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word, be instant, in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts they shall heap to themselves teachers, having itchy ears. This has been fulfilled, you guys, we know this. Prophecy fulfilled. You know what I mean? There's a lot of prophecy that's fulfilled. The only way we're going to, we're finding out the truth. They're not talking about it out there, but we are. You know, see what I'm saying? We stay, we know the truth. That they don't. A lot of the churches aren't even talking about it. This is prophecy fulfilled. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned into fables. But watch thou in all things. Endure afflictions. Do the work of an evangelist. Make full proof of thy ministry. Okay, you guys? Listen, I didn't show this. I'm going to lay down and get me some sleep, you guys. I'm tired, okay? I drove most of the night. I tried to get a couple hours sleep. Got a few little of light attacks last night, you know? That's what they do. They, they love to attack us, you know, while we're sleeping. Trying to sleep anyhow. Anyhow, you guys, God bless you. Love each and every one of you. Let's stay close to the name in our Lord Jesus Christ, okay? That's all every, All our truth we need to know is going to be in the Word of God. Don't worry about these, um, what these other people are doing, man. They sold their souls to the devil, okay? Let's comfort and edify one another, man. Look at all the prophecy that's been fulfilled already, and we see it, don't we? But they don't. Okay, another thing you got to trust in the Lord. Okay, we can't make people come to the Lord if the if if they see the signs, they're gonna come just like we are. Okay, but you can be a lantern. Let them know where your faith is and let them be. You know, let them be. You can share with them the time that it's at. And just let them be. You know, trust in the Lord, man. It's it's not in our hands. It's in God's in control. Okay. And you need to just focus on getting close to the Lord and sharing the word, like it says, like we do, you know. But you can't beat a person over the head over and over and over and over. They'll just hate you, you know. I've already been down that road, you know. With my own family, they don't like to, they got to the point where they didn't want to hear no more from me, <laughs> you know. Which is all right, I moved on, you know. But I also learned you know, you don't keep beating them over the head. Trust in the Lord, okay? God bless you guys. I love each and every one of you. In the name of our Lord, Jesus Christ.